just let me come pick you up and take you to Fillmore so you can be safe. I'm scared for your safety, honestly. Fellas, let's get them drunk. Chill. Let's get them drunk. Like Chill. and subscribe. Make Real Mario TV. Chill. Chill. Okay, guys, let's speak on the pot smoke situation. Uh, it's allegedly that his killer, um, some of his killers starting to get out, and one of the killers got out, and he was showing himself getting off a of house arrest and all that, and he's out here or whatever. But he received a call from his PO, and everybody know nine out of ten when a PO call you and tell you your life is in danger, your life is in danger. We saw this from a lot of people. We saw it from where we at. We saw it with the Bob O. He was warned. Everybody, once they warn you, you better take that and listen. But I think he want to stay gangster. You know what I'm saying? He can't just go in no PO, no protective custody. Especially the guys he probably came home to. He got to prove that he a real dude. But these guys that's pot smoking them, they they was, you took the, the bread maker. And allegedly, um, a guy that was found a long time ago in the lake, um, they tried to tie that to Pop Smoke, said he had played a part in it, and that was the reason why he was found in the um, water and um, stuff like that, you know? So, hey, nobody knows if that was true or that was connected, but that's what they were trying to connect to Pop Smoke. They saying people coming out missing, whoever played a part. They couldn't get the guys in jail, but they starting to get released, and they liked it. You know what I'm saying? Nine out of ten, the PO warning you. Somebody probably tipped the PO off that this guy's life might be in danger. He, he need to be careful or something like that. But y'all get in the comment. Let me know what y'all think about that, man. PO's always right when they say something might happen to you.